In 2009, the Obama administration announced that it would be shifting more foreign policy and defense resources to the Asia-Pacific region. Since then, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has made trips to the region every year, and the United States has moved quickly to complete a slew of bilateral agreements with Asian governments. Last fall, the Obama administration announced that as American troops withdraw from Iraq and Afghanistan, the United States would shift its focus to the Asia-Pacific region. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton identified the region as a key driver of global politics in the next decade. When she outlined America's strategy for the region, she cited six strategic goals. Strengthening bilateral security alliances. Deepening diplomacy with emerging powers, including China. Engaging regional multilateral institutions. Expanding trade and investment. Forging a broad-based military presence. and advancing democracy and human rights. The United States is uniquely positioned to play a leading role in the Asia Pacific because of our history, our capabilities, and our credibility. People look to us as they have for decades. The most common thing that Asian leaders have said to me in my travels over this last uh, 20 months is thank you. We're so glad that you're playing an active role in Asia again. So we intend to project American leadership in these three areas, economic growth, regional security, and enduring values. In June 2012, U.S. Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta announced that he would tilt the deployment of American naval forces from its current 50-50 split between the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans to a 60% presence in the Pacific by 2020. Chinese officials in the meantime have criticized the Obama administration's pivot towards Asia as diplomatic encirclement and an effort to contain Beijing's growing economic and military influence in the region. A recent editorial by Xinhua, the official state news agency in China, said, Washington must understand that returning to Asia by way of military flexing its muscle and diplomatically intervening in bilateral disputes is wrong and short-sighted. It is wrong because it is favoring confrontation instead of cooperation, which does not contribute to Asia's development and also goes against U.S. long-term interest. A major source of contention for Beijing over the past few months has been the increased U.S. involvement in territorial and maritime navigation disputes between China and its neighbors in the South China Sea, including the Philippines and other members of ASEAN, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. China is a peaceful, stable, and prosperous neighboring environment to pursue development. We hope to see a unified and strong ASEAN with dynamic growth because this is also conducive to China's own strategic 